That was also um, improvised. So even at the end, you notice that Crystal turned to Rachel to make sure that that was the end of the poem. So it's incredible how uh, the dancers' bodies absorb the words, um, create these sculptures, these moving sculptures that dance with the words so beautifully. It's really something special to watch. The other thing that I noticed that was so profound is the silence. It's just the words and the movement of the body. And it's, you know, we usually have these performances with music, not we, but dance is usually with uh, music. And it's really somewhat liberating, somewhat beautiful. It elevates the poetry, it also elevates the dance, I think. So our next, so our next performers, um, I want to say just a, a, a word or two. Rita, uh, we met when Rachel last month at our open mic, the first Wednesday of every month at local cafe in Morristown, and there's a flyer there. You can grab it if you're a poet, or if not, you want to come and listen. It's the first Wednesday of every month. And uh, we heard Rita uh, get up there and, uh, <laughs> and belt out her work, and we were so moved by it because the poems that we heard were all about movement and dance. And I said, hey, why don't you come to our event here at Bridging Gaps? So you're going to hear Rita in just a moment. Oksana, I want to say that uh, my wife Megan and I on Friday, which was two days ago, it seemed like weeks ago, we're invited to Montclair State University's fall dance program. And we saw her dance there for the first time, and we were so moved uh, by what we saw with Montclair State University's dance program, which Maxine has so much uh, to do with, but also with uh, Oksana, who is uh, the next generation of great dancers that you're seeing here. Yeah. All of the dancers are from Montclair. They're alum, except for the two the So duo. Michelle and Caleb are not from Montclair. They'll be doing a, a duet with me. But everyone else is from Montclair State. Graduates or? Graduates or, so alumni graduates or not. But we'll talk about that in a moment as well. Um, so next up is Rita and Oksana. Rita, would you like to use the mic? Can I bring it? Yes, I'd like to use the stool. And Absolutely. So I'm going to stay here and set you up for that, all right? You come up here. Hi, everybody. Hello. You can give Rita a round of applause while she's standing up. Um, no, 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 no. Okay. Paul was nice enough to introduce me, and I'm very grateful for that. I'm Rita Janice Saul, and I'm reading a poem entitled, I'm a Survivor. I think it's something that each and every one of us ponders every day we wake up, really. It's from my book Unti um, called Unlimited by Rita Janice Saul. Thank you. a survivor, a massive dose of disrespect. But then you figure, hey, what the heck? A longtime friend who lo no longer knows your name. Hmm. It's a crying shame, but hey, 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 it, it's okay. Because I'm a survivor anyway. Yes. I'm a survivor, but aren't we all from social injustice to bullies in school? 
verbal abuse. And people who use us, tolerance lacking, let's have no more excuses. People are staring, actually glaring. They say, you're too fat, too skinny, too short or too tall. Prices skyrocket more out of pocket. Our leaders betray us, but we take the fall. But aren't we survivors after all? Different opinions, but nobody listens. For no one cares what we all have to say. While gossip and rumors, hmm, like cancerous tumors, continue to target their innocent prey. Heartless reactions to your most passionate actions, it's so unkind, it can just blow your mind. And though it cuts like a knife, that's simply life. Or so they say. But you guessed it, my friend. I'm the survivor. Anyway. Hearts that are broken from words never spoken. When love that was promised disappears into thin air. But do you care? Of course you do. But hey, you're still alive because you're a survivor, too. Because unlike the cheaters, the liars, the schemers, we are the dreamers that fortune has blessed. Living with hope for a bright, New tomorrow, refusing to live in a world doused with sorrow. We are all survivors when put to the test. <laughs>